say the guy was down the street lighting a restaurant on fire, and that blaze could lead to a hate crime charge. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is in the newsplex with a strange story. And Diane, police say the man was cool, calm, and seemed to be thinking up a plan at the gas station before setting the pump on fire. It was all caught on surveillance video. It's a scary sight at any gas station. Flames engulfed a gas pump last night in Santa Fe, but this was no accident. Rewind the video. About 20 minutes earlier, this man enters the picture. The video shows him walk up to the first pump, then over to the next. He appears to be leaving, but then he walks back, pulls a trash can in front of pump six. That's when police say the accused firebug put his plan in motion. He takes the hose and puts it inside the, the trash can and sets the contents of the trash can on fire. Within 10 minutes, smoke and flames start shooting out of the trash can. The hose is engulfed in flames. Moments later, the pump explodes. As fire crews were consumed with the gas station fire, they would soon find out that the fire bug was not done. A bystander alerted police that another fire had sparked just down the street at the India House restaurant. The citizen reported that he was breaking windows. The citizen also saw the man light the curtains on fire. Police arrested this man, Miguel Carlos Flores, for both fires. He burned the curtain and tablecloths and with a newspaper and just try to burn this place down. Luckily, fire crews doused out the flames before that happened, but along with the cost of the damage, this restaurant owner was hit with another blow when police told him Carlos Flores' reason for starting the fire. His statements about setting the, uh, the restaurant on fire was because he didn't like Indian people. So I am a victim of a hate crime. And police say Carlos Flores admitted to being drunk and high. He also admitted to starting both of the fires with a small lighter like this. Back to you. Okay, Crystal. Carlos Flores is now facing two counts of second-degree arson. His case was handed over to the district attorney's office to determine if a hate crime enhancement charge will be added. One of the